Christ on a stick. Car broke down. I could use some help. Hello?
Special Agent Francis, I presume? Pleased to meet you, Deputy Salter. Uh, you can call me Colt. Everybody does. Did you want to grab a bite before we hit the station? Marnie serves up the best chicken fried steak you ever tasted. I'm vegan. Okay, uh, great. Well, I'll just grab something later. I'll take that for you. Shall we go then? Uh, yeah. I'll get that for you, ma'am. This is Special Agent Francis. Sheriff around? Well, how you doing? No, he's still out. Should be back soon, though. We had an appointment for one. You just take a seat, sweetie, and I'm sure he won't be long. Okay, I'm gonna get some coffee. Anybody want anything? Two splendors, no cream, please. Yeah, hang on, hon. Jenny, you got any of those wet naps back there? Richard. Cool. Colton. Little friend for you out there in the trunk. Hey, right on it, Sheriff. You better get the hand truck for Colt. <laughs> that idiot's gonna realize it's gonna be too much weight for him to shift himself. Special Agent Francis. How you doing? We've been expecting you. Pleasure to meet you, Sheriff. I'm sorry, you seem to caught us right in the middle of our local crime spree. Hit and run whitetail. <laughs> Yeah. Step on into the back, see what we can do you for. There you go. Have a seat. Here it is. Not much to it. Pretty much a waste of yours and the Bureau's time, if you ask me. I'd like to speak to him first thing. Who, Pritchard? Mm. Colt and I were just out there three days ago to see him have a look around. His wife's car is missing. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. It's all right there, in the report. I see that. But I'd still like to get my own sense of the man. It's odd, he didn't file the report. Her sister did, right? That's right. Maria and the boy were on the way to her house, so Teresa would have been the first one to notice that they'd gone missing. Mm -hmm. I've known Jackson Pritchard his whole life. Colt there went to high school with the man. Yeah, I know, he's got a temper. But he is not a murderer by any stretch. Who said anything about murder? Although, now that you mention it, 45% of all murdered women are killed by their domestic partner. You want to know the most likely scenario? Maria finally got a belly full of his bullshit and she lit off with the kid for Minneapolis or Winnipeg or... Without telling her sister or anyone? That doesn't seem right. Why don't you go out and question the sister then? Pretty sure she'll agree with me. But leave Pritchard out of it. It is a valid line of inquiry that needs to be followed up on. We have done the follow-up, Agent. Look, I know my department's under scrutiny right now. But give us a shred of credit for understanding our community and how to do our goddamn jobs. So how about we trust my instinct on this one, Special Agent Francis? Yours didn't seem to do that Breland girl any favors. Sheriff, Rudolph is in the icebox. Colt, take our distinguished guest out to see Teresa Locke and then get her set up at the Kelly Inn. Right on it, ma'am. Ready to go? Despite what happened to the Breland girl, Sheriff, I found her. I wouldn't change that. Apparently, some people are just better off not being found.
Oh, you're in here. You understand? So you're just gonna suffer in silence? Well, I will end this right now. Uh, you can't smoke in here. I don't. What are the smokes for, then? I quit three years ago. I keep that around to remind me. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a caribou, you know, not a deer. Who? Rudolph. Reindeer's what they call them in Europe. The caribou and deer are both from the Cervidae family. That's Latin for deer. Heck, the moose, also known as the Eurasian elk, is technically a deer, too. It's more than just cow chips and inbreeding out here, you know. Well played, Deputy Salter. <sighs> you know, that's gotta be pretty exciting to compete with this thrill a minute landscape. Hmm? Oh. Sorry, I was just surfing. I was just yanking your chain. No, you're right. It's a rude habit. <clears throat> so what did you want to talk about? Okay. You asked? What was all that talk back there about the Breland girl? Should I be concerned? Oh. You're right, I did ask. If you don't want to talk about it, it's okay. 17-year-old Tanya Breland went missing about a year ago. It was the first real case I was lead on. Took all kinds of unpaid overtime, weekends. I was a little obsessed, I guess you could say. Four months later, I tracked her down to a homeless shelter run by an Islamist group in St. Paul. The kicker was the girl didn't want to go home. She wouldn't say why. Psych of was perfectly normal. Clean drug screen, too. So I just took her home. She showed up at my office. Said I ruined her life. Call 911! It all happened so fast, I couldn't stop her. I couldn't save her. Lord. I was more focused on solving the case than making sure she was safe. To protect and serve. It's a pretty basic concept to follow. It sounds like you went by the book. Oh, then the book needed to be rewritten and I should have seen that. Is that what brings you out here? Administrative reassignment or whatever they call it? No. Actually, I requested this case when it came in. You know, you can't beat yourself up. If you're perfect, it would be human. Sour. Oh, no, that's fine. Thanks, Teresa. So this is a regular thing? Uh, excuse me? Your sister and her son staying here. You expected them five days ago, right? Uh, yeah, uh, thereabouts. Jo Jonah had the flu, so we they were going to come by uh, as soon as he got better. Um, oh, I wouldn't call it a, a regular thing. They, they, they just come by when they need to get away for a spell. Get away? How so? Life can get 
pretty dreary out there at that place of theirs, you know. Could you be more specific? The farm hasn't turned a profit for years. The old house is falling apart. Times are tough. It, it gets stressful. And Mr. Pritchard, is he a source of that stress, in your opinion? I know he's a friend of yours, Colt. That was 15 years ago. We have more of a smile and nod kind of relationship now. It's okay. Well, him and me never really got along well, and um, he's been in the county lockup more than once. Uh, drunk and disorderly, simple assault. Yeah, but, but in the last couple of years, uh, I, I don't know, he's just, he's changed. He's sullen all the time. He, 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 his temper is getting worse. He, I mean, the littlest thing will set him off. Could you give me an example? One time, Jonah, spilled some paint on the porch. And Jackson dragged the boy into his room and locked him in overnight without supper. He, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't even let him go to the bathroom. Maria was livid like I've never seen. I mean, after everything that's happened, that boy is her precious little miracle. How do you mean? Well, they, they got married real young on account of Maria being pregnant, but she lost that baby. And after that, she suffered I don't know, half a dozen miscarriages before she finally got Jonah. No, oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. What about Jackson Pritchard attracted her in the first place? He was an upright, church-going man. The Pritchards weren't rich, but they owned their land outright. And she bought all that talk about being blessed and all. Blessed? Jonah was her reward from God for keeping the faith, is what she said. Can you think of any reason why your sister might take off somewhere and not tell you? Not a chance, no. She, she told me if she changes the channel. And Jonah, you like staying here? Sure, we got a, we got a uh, playground down the road, a um, bunch of kids his age. I, I've even made him a little place for him to sleep, you know, like a, a little nook that he can, he can make his own. Could I see it? Marie and me take my bed and he'd sleep in there. The closet. He preferred it to being out in the open. He said it made him feel safer. what he did. You ask him what he did with Maria and little Jonah. You it's ask okay, him okay. if they die on that land, their souls will never find rest. Nobody's <laughs> dying, okay? These people are here to help. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're gonna, we're gonna find Maria and Jonah. You are, aren't you? It doesn't leave us a whole lot of options. Does it? No, no, it doesn't. Wait, what are you talking about? Get in. We have to check out Jackson Pritchard now. We've almost certainly got enough probable cause for a search warrant. Whoa, whoa, ease it back there. Look, I agree that what Teresa said raises some questions, but I mean, I've already been out there. And the sheriff was pretty clear about leaving Jackson B for now. I think that we should look for Maria's car and recheck the hospitals. Meanwhile, who knows what he could be doing to Maria and her son. It's his son, too. Remember that. They've just been through some tough times. Economic hardship does crazy things to people. I ran track with Jackson. He was always serious and more than a little weird. But he's a good man at his core. I know it. You heard what Miss Locke said about his abusive behavior. Yeah, but... Look at this. Does that look like the work of a kid who feels safe around his father? Shouldn't that be bagged for evidence? Whatever you think you know 
about Pritchard could determine the fate of two people, Deputy Salter. Okay, so the Pritchard place is way out on the other side of the county, but if we're not back right away, the sheriff's gonna know something's up. If we do this, I gotta put a call in. You already know what he's gonna say. Haven't you ever heard it's easier to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission? I heard it the other way around. Still. What are you gonna do when he tells you no? <laughs> he's already told me no. We all know that I was called in for a reason. Your sheriff, most of all. I'll take full responsibility. This is Pritchard's place. Stop the car. Is this Pritchard's? Not that I know of. Must be dead. Who abandons all their stuff in an unlocked car and leaves the keys? It's a nice car. go to the right place? Does this look normal to you? This is all new. It wasn't nearly this crazy three days ago. Stay here. We'll talk to him first. Gate's locked. Hey, Jackson! Gold Salter, you in there? I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Radio check. Loud and clear. You want that car to your brain paint job. Keep your hands up. Up. Or I can see him. Come on, get him up. I'm Special Agent Francis, Mr. Pritchard. You made a mistake coming here. I'm here investigating the disappearance of your wife and son. 
You do want me to find them, don't you, Mr. Pritchard? They ain't in here. It's cool. Keep walking. It's your wife's car, isn't it, Mr. Pritchard? What's it doing here if you told police she wants her sister's? Shut up! Jackson, hey, don't do anything stupid. Although I'd put threatening to shoot a federal agent right up there with stupid. Oh, you need to clear up my property right now! You know why we're here. Give me the gun, we'll talk about it, okay? No, Cole! Take this woman and you leave. It's not gonna happen, Mr. Pritchard. Not now. Jackson, she's right. Okay, think about it. Now, I know you're not gonna shoot her. And you're sure as heck not gonna shoot me. But if you do, Grunwell will be here with the whole army. You remember when he caught us TPing Jenny Austin's house? You'd have thought he'd had Al Capone surrounded, right? Hands on your head. Hey. I said hands on your head! Easy with the gun, okay? Get on your knees! Cuff him. I said cuff him, Deputy Salter. Yes, ma'am. Where are they, Pritchard? They ain't here. That's the gospel truth. The car is still on the property. We're 50 miles from nowhere. They didn't just walk out of here. What the heck was that? I'm searching this house. You keep an eye on this line, son of a bitch. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, I'm sure you don't want me to. You both need to clear off my property. As God is my witness, I will not be responsible for what happens! Colton, she goes in there, Marie and Jonah are as good as dead. Mind my dog, Earl. He's least your worries. Jesus Christ. Entryway looks clear. I'm gonna check upstairs first. Okay, copy.
Uh, not too clearly, no. Agent Francis, I'm having a hard time reading you. Do you read me? Over? What was that? Hey, you tell, you tell her to stop, all right? You tell her to come back up right now. I told you not to do anything stupid, Jackson. Not cool. Just a little hiccup. I got it under control. Get up. Hang on. <sighs> Mr. Pritchard, care to explain what exactly you've got down there in the basement? You know, in the cage. It's not them, is it? No, it's not a family member. Although you tell me, Mr. Pritchard, experiment with the livestock much? Shut your mouth. Then tell me what it is. Is a servant of the beast. A demon. A demon. You're not a church going woman, you say it like that. Otherwise, you'd know that the devil used to be an angel until he was cast out. And you know that sometimes you can't tell the difference between a good angel and a fallen one. Whatever you do believe, whatever you choose to call that, it is evil. Yeah. Once it's like it took my wife and son, I mean to use it to get my my family back. Took your wife and son. And you're holding that one hostage. That's right. Hey, will someone tell me what's going on? Mr. Pritchard here has some kind of deformed, sickly, wild animal down there in the cage from where I have no idea. And what the hell is that lump of jelly? It was covered in it when I captured it. And then it sloughed off after a day or two. It was covered in it. Yeah, it was wearing it like, a, like some kind of skin or suit. You know any wild animals that wear suits, lady? Okay, I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, Mr. Pritchard, but spouting gibberish is not going to absolve you of whatever responsibility you have in all of this. But I'll bite. How the hell did you even capture that thing? I ain't telling you shit. 
You are correct, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. You're arresting me? For what? You're kidding me, right? Assault on a peace officer, for one. Make that too. Get in. My phone is dead. I'm not surprised you can't get a signal out here. No, it's completely bricked. Mine too. Okay, we better just transport him and call it in from the road. Don't even tell me. This car was serviced last week. There's no way the battery's dead. Hey, you brought this on yourself. I tried to warn you. And hey, maybe someone intends for me to stay. Maybe that someone is ready to bargain. Anything? No idea. It could be the battery, it could be the starter. We have to take it apart to tell. Like the car on the road? Yeah. Weirdness is starting to pile up around here. Jackson, how's your pickup running these days? I ordered parts to fix that carburetor three months ago. Maria's car? She got the keys, so knock yourselves out. You stay here. There's no greater hand in all this. Ah! Oh. Uh, uh, Where are your first aid supplies? In the drawer next to the fridge. He moves? Shoot him. You got yourself hooked up with a live one, huh, Cole? <sighs> so what are you gonna do, shoot me? That's how it's gonna go like hell you. I need to walk for help. Here's farms and homesteads 13 miles up the road. He's right. I don't recommend you go for a hike in the dark when the storm's coming on. Not staying here, that's for damn sure. Hey, it's not like they're gonna let you leave. They're more active at night. I meant what I said before. The sheriff will come looking for us when we don't check in. So many figures out where we are. I told him not to check in, remember? There's no telling how widespread this storm is or if anyone can mm. even get to us. All right. We're gonna need stitches, but this should hold. How is it? I could say I had worse. But I'd be lying. Did you see that out there? Like the lightning that didn't act like any other lightning I'd ever seen before? No, in that last strike, I thought I saw something right in the field where it hit. Oh, what? Ow, 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 ow. I don't know. Hey, hey! It's Maria. It's gotta be. Where? She's right there, right with the lightning struck in the field. Hey, come on, get these things off me. Hurry up. No, you I gotta go. Show me with the cuffs on. Hey, W.D. Salter, you stay here. Hold on, hold on. Just in case. Okay. Yeah, she seems to be okay. 
get these cops off me so I can bring my wife back in my house? Please. Come on, baby. Do you, do you think you could do me one more favor? What? When we get back inside, could you go to my wife's closet and pick out something decent for her to wear? I'd hate for her to wake up wearing something hideous that I picked for her. She'd kill me. She needs a rest. Why don't you sleep her be? This is all your fault. Our boy is gone because of you. He's gone. Get away from me. You said everything would be all right. You said you'd fix it, but you couldn't. You better make this right. You get our boy back. He's the only good thing you ever did. You'd fix it? What does that mean? Who are you? She's an FBI agent. She's going to help us find Jonah. Mrs. Pritchard, can you remember anything that happened to you? How Jonah was taken? 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 Why, Jackson gave our son to those things, didn't you, Jackson? Don't. What things, Mrs. Pritchard? The angels his daddy used to tell him about before that crazy old man took off his own head with his shotgun. Angels. Once he said, watch over this house. Jackson actually called them down. Maria! No. No. Me and Jonah, we had plans to go to my sister's. But my little man, he got real sick. He was burning up. Fine. You want to know? You want to know everything? tell you everything. You wouldn't pay for a doctor and now he's gonna die. Oh, boy. Lord of mercy, turn to you in this time of great need. Jackson, this isn't Quiet. right. Not angels. They've got Jonah. You're a fool, Jackson. Maria, you're a fool. Come on. Was that the first time you'd ever seen one of those creatures, Mr. Pritchard? This isn't a game. Was that the first time you no. had ever? No. It was not the first time. What? And when was? Just after my daddy died. Not before me and Maria got married. I saw a light out in the field, and then I was in the light. 
It's, it's like water. Being in water, only have here. And then all of a sudden, I, I was someplace else. I, I couldn't hardly see, but I knew they were all around me. Just looking at me, studying me like I was some kind of animal or something. Did they do anything to you? I don't. No. I mean, I can't. I don't remember. Why you? Why here? If we knew what they were after. Oh, what was that noise? Cage. He really did it. He's one of them. What's it doing? It's calling him. That's right! Yeah, you call him! They can't help you! Huh? Not till my son is brought back to me, unharmed! You're gonna stay right there! You understand me? Huh? Jackson, I don't know if you want to be doing that. Jackson, really? <laughs> They're inside. I, I need to get the generator rolling. Generator? Why? House is wired, electrified on the outside. I should keep a couple from coming in. You electrified our house? Yeah, and the lights too. That way we can at least see the bastards. The cars are dead. What makes you think the generator's gonna work? Because it did before. Come on, you gotta get me out of this now. Now, come on. I'll go with them. Okay. There you go. I'll stay with Maria. Okay. I need my key. Deputy Salter? Pritchard, is that you? <laughs> Identify yourself. I shot one of them. I, I, at least I shot something. I know I shot something, but it's gone. It's, it, it's just gone. Is that we're still in the cage? 
Yes or no? Is it in the cage? Yeah, yes, it is. Okay. I can't imagine they can leave us alone now. I'd like to put you my shotgun, in my car, go look for my dog. If that's okay with you. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll cover you. Come on. Yeah. Hey, call. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's electrified now. Remember that. Jackson! No, 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 no! Jesus. I don't even want to know what could do that. They think they could do whatever they want to them, man, but they are not in charge! They are not, they're gonna see, they're gonna see. Jackson? Dial it back a notch. We'll get through this. You have my word. Your word? Cole? You explain all that? You have no idea what you are dealing with. I'm sorry, I just get... Just talking about my family. You know? I know. Well, we can at least be productive while we're all sitting around here. Aside from the traps you set, it's the house itself, as secure as it can be. That's a good idea. Marie, take Agent Francis upstairs, check the windows, throw furniture, anything you can against them. Me and Colt, we'll check the back. Come on, go. Where do you think you're going? Get my son back. What the heck is that? My daddy used to keep fighting dogs down here. He had to have a way to wrangle the mutts without getting himself bit. What exactly are you planning on doing to it? I'm gonna show these sons of bitches the concept of you mess with mine. I'm gonna mess with yours. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know where this thing is from. But it is one of God's creatures, regardless. Yeah, and Corey looks, looks pretty sick. And I, and I shall not pity. But life shall go for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. And I stood beside cold. Or help me. Him over to me, and I'm gonna hook him. Hey, that side of the side of the cage. Come on, son, bitch. Come on, go. Come on, go. Move. Go. Get him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Hey, go. Help me out with this. Help me out. Come on, pull. Pull. I intend to figure out what it is. You do want me to find my son, don't you, Agent Francis? Let him go. Just let the man go.
Jackson, what are you doing? This has got to be here. It's here. It's got to be here. I know. I know it's here. What's here? <clears throat> Hey, Cole, give me your knife. Cole, give me your knife. Okay, okay. Here. other traps you might have. Nobody leaves the house until dawn. <sighs> we know nothing, nothing about the psychology of those things. Hey, at least I did something. At least I fought back. And who knows how they'll retaliate? You know, as long as he gets my son back, I, I don't care. OK, you were right. Those things are not animals. They are more. They are much, much more. And that disc out there is obviously some kind of a, a teleportation, um, a gateway, an advanced technology, right? Look at this. Your son drew this. It's just like the design on the disc out there. It, it's like a, 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 a mapping system or a circuit diagram, a network. Come on. It's... We clearly knew about them. Maybe that's why they're so interested in him. My son draws crazy shit all the time. Look, huh? Look, look. Mr. Pritchard, how did that thing get out there in the first place? Are there any more of them? How long has that thing been out there? Do you have any answers, Mr. Pritchard? father, isn't it? Yeah. Look really closely. Look behind him. He was working for him. I think there's got to be more to it than that. I'm no expert in agriculture, but that land out there does not look very productive. Yet your family held on to it for generation after generation. Why is that? Tell them what he used to say to you. Don't be like that idiot Esau. Sell your birthright just because you're a little hungry. Someday we shall reap God's harvest from this patch of earth. It is promised to us. You drum that into me. Without mercy. said that my great-great-grandfather was led here by the Lord. He said it in his own way. I never thought, never dreamed that it meant all this. All of this. Of course, my daddy had his way out. We don't want that to happen again. We need to get to the bottom of this. 
And the key to that and to finding your son is downstairs in the basement. It was obviously wearing that for protection. I wonder how long it can survive without it. If we're gonna have any chance of trading it for your son, we need to make sure... Well, this thing can't fucking die. Till I say it can. Now, come on. Get up, come on! Jackson. What does that even mean? It means my husband is dead. I suspected that he was different for a long time. That, that the man I fell in love with isn't the one I'm marrying. But those are crazy thoughts, right? Not so crazy now. Where's part is? He had me believing it was my fault. It was you. It was you all along. You goddamn monster. What did he do? What did he do? I'll show you. Have a look. Oh, my God. All those years of shame of, of trying to hide it. He wouldn't even let me give them a proper burial. He said that they were abominations before the Lord. Placing us. You're saying Pritchard's one of them. I've had you over to my house. And you fools are fools! How is this possible? How could you not know? You wanted me to know why I was here. They gotta change. Adapt to life, you new ones that they can't be mules. They gotta be a free troop. You see, their world is dying. They're just running out of time to get it right. What about Jonah? Jonah is so important. He's the first natural boy. His future. It's their future. What about our future, huh? What about our future? Colt! Colt! Back up! I need you to go upstairs right now and make sure that the house is secure. Why? If those things want to get in here, there's nothing we can do about it. You've seen what they can do. It is not easy for them or they would have done it already. We just need to be able to hang on until morning. For what? For Jonah? The kid is one of those things. 
towards them. They're coming. Focus. We need to hold it together. There is every possibility that Jonah is completely normal. We don't have all the evidence yet. Evidence? Who cares about evidence? We're done. Don't you see that? We are at the little big horn and the Indians are circling and they are going to do more than scalp us. I just know that I can't go out like that. Then don't. We have to hold the line here. You and me. If there's nobody else left to do it. And nobody who would believe it. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. gonna get your son back. It's time to negotiate. Give them what they want and we might all get out of this alive. You call this? <clears throat> this? Being alive? I'm a goddamn liar. I don't even know what the fuck I am. Well, you call it a soul. Or whatever you like, but there is more Jackson Pritchard left inside there than they counted on. Maybe that was the case with your father. Maybe that's why he took his own life. They've been using us as lab rats. My whole family for generations. From where I stand, you're human. And you have been fighting like hell this whole time to protect your family. That counts for something. Don't stop me now. Your son needs you. You've been listening to anything I said? My son is one of them. We won't know for sure until we get him back safe. And that is the only way. somewhere. The man I fell in love with, I'm begging you. Jonah is all that I got left. Mr. Pritchard, we need your help. You have to decide Cold can't hold them off forever.
This thing is so sick and fragile. I, I want to wrap it up. Agent, give me that tarp. It's right there on my drill press right there. Marie, come on inside here. Come in. Come on, hurry up now. Come on, put these on. Put those on. Come on over here. in this tonight. You'll see. It's here. You can't be certain that he's one of them. I am certain! Daddy, 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 please, please. He's still your son, Mr. Pritchard. Whatever they've done to you, whatever they've done to your family, you, you can't do this. Please, let go, you're hurting me. This is for the best boy. Don't make me shoot, Mr. Pritchard. Please. I hope so. Take him away from you. You government tarps talk out of both sides of your mouth. 
your mouth. You'll take him and you'll lock him up in the lab somewhere. Don't you even want to know what he is? No! He's my son. And he's perfect. I'm not going to let you destroy that. It's going to hurt you. Sometimes God alone just isn't enough. You'll do whatever you have to to protect your child. You can't stop what's happening. Just like you can't stop a mother's love. My boy is home. That's all that matters. So. Maria Pritchard confirms a lot of what's in the report about how she shot her husband when he tried to kill the boy. And I'm inclined to believe the both of you that it was justifiable homicide. You see what he did to that house and... and Colt. And the crater his... man-made bomb left out there. Not enough left to him to fill a thimble. What bomb? And I never said that he killed Colt. She also gives you quite a bit of credit for launching the assault that got them free from that lunatic. What? No. I didn't launch an assault, and he wasn't holding them hostage. Agent Francis, if you insist on holding on to this fairy tale about men from Mars... I never called them that. It's going to cost you your career. And I shouldn't have to remind you that in our line of work, we are limited to only telling those stories which we can actually prove, right? Now I've laid out the facts as I see them, as any rational person could see them, and there's absolutely no evidence to the contrary. Did you check the basement? There's nothing there. The cage. There has to be DNA in there if you conduct a sweep. I don't have the manpower or the resources for that nonsense. It's over. The case is closed. Pritchard was clearly a psycho who became completely unhinged in the last couple of days. He had us all fooled. Look at this place. And I'm saying that your initial suspicions were right, by the way. I don't care about being right. We can't just sit back and ignore the implications. Is this normal to you, the temperature dropping 30 degrees in five minutes? Multiple lightning strikes in the same place. Listen to me. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. You've proven that. But take my advice. And forget this alien invasion taking over the world crap. All you're going to get for your trouble is a rubber room and a lithium drip. I know what I saw. The local Indians have been telling us stories of spirits and demons on this land for generations. Yours wouldn't be the first one, Agent Francis. You had it wrong, Colt. Turns out we're the Indians this time around. 
What was that? Just something Deputy Salter said. You know, my father used to brag about being 116th Cherokee. Do you think in a hundred years any of them will be proud to be 116th us? Take care of yourself now. You too, Sheriff. And I really mean that. There's no smoking in here, ma'am. Is death preferable to knowing what I know now? Maybe. Maybe even worse is the prospect of telling this story over and over, knowing no one will ever believe me. Knowing it'll be dismissed as easily as the scribblings of a child. Jonah? Those chickens aren't gonna feed themselves. Jonah? Jonah! Come on now, Jonah, don't play games with Mama now. Harvest. 